Do you ever want to put on a really bright and beautiful red lipstick but you stop yourself because every time you have it has either gone everywhere or half of it is gone within the first half an hour? Well try this trick and let me know how it goes next time. This is my favorite way to make my red lipstick long lasting. First, I make sure my lips were previously exfoliated and moisturized, but now they need to be completely dry. So if I have to, I remove any ointment I may have still on my lips. Now, the first thing I do is neutralize the color on my lips. So I grab the foundation brush I just use on the rest of my face and I apply any product that was left on the brush. And over that, I'm going to apply a bit of loose powder. To get the best results, I am going to use a lip liner that is close to the lipstick in color. I'm going to begin with the outline and then fill it in. Having this as your base will make your lipstick last way longer. Whenever I make a mistake, I fix it with concealer, but if I make a smudge that is too red or too big, I use makeup remover first and then concealer. This lip liner is super creamy, so I decided to do another layer of loose powder. I would say the best thing to use is a liquid lipstick that has a matte finish, but I've also used a regular lipstick as well. This time I'm using this one and I'm just going to apply it everywhere. If I use anything that doesn't have a matte finish, I apply a bit more loose powder. Sometimes I do it even with the ones that do have a matte finish because I think it really helps it last longer and not rub off. At this point, I could also add some gloss on top, but I like it the way it is now, so I'm going to leave it. But yeah, this is the best way to make your beautiful red lipstick last longer. Let me know what you think. Do you ever want to do like a very dark and beautiful smoky eye? But every time you do it with eyeshadow, it just doesn't come out the same way you see it on Instagram or literally anywhere. Well, there's a trick to it. And I thought it was just like just simple eyeshadow, like black eyeshadow that you just put on there and after enough layers it's gonna get dark enough well no i was wrong and i hope i'm not the only one because there's a trick to it and i want to show you what it is this look is a great way to transition from an evening look to a sexy night look uh, let me know if you want me to show you how to do this evening look but what i want to show you is that once i get to this part i don't just apply black eyeshadow no the secret is applying a black gel eyeliner. This is the one I'm using. You want to apply it using a tapping motion, making sure you blend the edges a lot, but you want the center to be very dark. If I use black eyeshadow to do this, it would just look grayish and it would never look as dark and intense as it should be. So I applied the eyeliner base first as a primer and then we are going to set it with black eyeshadow to get the deepest black smoky eye effect. Now I'm going to take a warm brown eyeshadow and apply it right at the end of the black. You would think that this look can be achieved with just black eyeshadow, but no. The goal is to make it blend naturally with the skin and this dark brown is going to help with that. I already had some dark eyeshadow on my bottom lash line and gel eyeliner on my waterline but if you need to add that, now it's the time to do it. Like I said, we're trying to blend it naturally so now I'm going to add some light brown, something similar to my contour and I'm going to apply right above the dark brown. Always blend from dark to medium to light. And to finish this look, I'm just going to add some highlight in my inner corners and my brow bone. And that's it. Look how beautiful this looks. This is how you achieve that very dramatic, intense and beautiful smoky eye. Do you ever find yourself putting on multiple layers of concealer and foundation then concealer again just to cover up your under eye circles or any other type of pigment on your face? Well, this trick is for you. 
I really don't like it when I have to apply multiple layers of foundation and concealer just to cover up my under eye dark circles. It just makes it look so cakey. I really dislike that look. So what we want to do is neutralize that pigmentation before we even apply foundation. So in order to do that, we're going to do some color correction first. Sometimes it's not very obvious, but whenever we see dark circles, what we're actually seeing is blue and purple tones under there. If you want to cancel a color, you have to take a look at the color wheel and cover it up with a color that is on the opposite side of it, so it's complementary color. So to get rid of blues and purples, we have to use orange and peachy tones. This color is going to get rid of those under eye circles as well as any veins that you want to cover up around your eyes, like this one's right here. And here's another example. This area around my mouth has a lot of yellows, as you can see. There's also a few veins that are blue that are pretty visible, but what I'm trying to neutralize is the yellows. So what I'm going to do is apply this purple-ish primer. On a regular day, I usually just do this and then apply foundation over it. It just looks very fresh and not cakey. I just love doing this instead of applying concealer because it helps me achieve a more natural look instead of applying multiple different layers. But if I want a little bit more coverage or brighten up my face, I do apply concealer on top. I love color correction so much. It's just so easy to understand and apply. It's just the best way to start your makeup application with a blank canvas. I love it. By the way, all these tricks are not really mine. I just learned them on Online Makeup Academy. They're based in New York and it's this wonderful remote professional makeup course that you take, like I said, online. I've been applying makeup on myself since I was 15. So I've learned quite a few things by practicing on myself, going on YouTube, just watching videos online everywhere. But there's still things that I didn't know because obviously I've never taken a course like this. And I'm so glad I'm taking it now because there is a few things that nobody's saying that I feel like everybody that applies makeup on their faces should know. I'm taking two courses right now. The one that I'm about to finish is like the beginners one, not really beginners, but the first certificate that you need to be a makeup artist, a professional makeup artist. And I'm taking another one shortly after I graduate from the first one, which is an advanced one. So watch out for more tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you once I learn them. <laughs> but yeah, this course has been great. Like usually when you go to a class in person, yeah, it's great because you're there and you can ask questions and everything, but doing it online with them, it's basically the same thing, but better, I would say. First, you're not standing 20 to 30 feet away from the person that's applying the makeup. So you really get to see everything up close. You get to go back if you need to and really watch everything. Like you can go at your own pace, you can go slower, you can speed it up a little bit if you want to or need to. But yeah, there's many times that I've gone back to like rewatch something and that's not something you could do in person, you know? And the fact that they show absolutely everything is amazing. When they're doing a demonstration, they show everything from the very beginning before they even prep the skin to the very end. Yeah, the classes might last like an hour to an hour and a half sometimes, not always, but sometimes, but it's so worth it. I feel like whenever I go on YouTube and I try to watch a tutorial, it's probably something that has taken them over an hour to film, but it's a 10 minute video. So you don't get to see absolutely everything. You don't get to see if they had to retouch something off camera and they're kind of like lying to you about it. But on this course, you get to see absolutely everything. How they fix little mistakes, how they apply absolutely everything. You get to see how they place their hand on the face to apply on one side of the face and then when they go to the other side you get to see how they flip the brush that might seem silly but that's not something you get to see all the time on youtube and other tutorials so i really appreciate that 
I also appreciate that there is no minimum age or education requirement for it. So anybody can sign up for it and just learn from scratch and just start a career. Like how crazy is that, that we're able to do that nowadays? And I haven't even mentioned the best parts about the course. First of all, you get homework. It sounds like it would be annoying, but it's so fun. You get to practice and really master your craft. And at the same time, you get to submit it to them who are professional makeup artists that work in this industry in New York because the company is based in New York. So you get real people, real professionals who get to look at your work and just mentor you, help you get better, give you feedback on what you need to improve on, or just tell you that you, your work is perfect. So <laughs> that's even better, getting professionals to say that your work is good. Frick yeah. <laughs> and they make it super easy for you to submit your assignments. You basically just get to do everything at your own pace. Just take your time if you're busy with another job or with children or anything with your kids. You can take even a whole year to get it done. Or if you're in a rush, you can just do it as fast as you want. But you have that possibility. And, and you not only have as much time as you want to complete the course, you also have unlimited access to the course. So you can go back to it years later and just check it out, review what you learned a while ago or anything you want. All the material in the course is just there for you to review anytime you want. Nowadays, jobs are so unpredictable that this is just such a great thing to get just in case anything happens. You have like a plan B, you know, like if even if you have a full time job, you never know what could happen. So why not do something for yourself, especially if you like makeup, you know, like if you're already in love with the field, why not get into it? Even if it's just like a side job right now, you never know. It could be your full time job if you really enjoy it, if you really are passionate about it. Why not make it a full time job? It's a very profitable business I would say like industry so why not give it a try I'm definitely so happy that I'm getting into it especially now so I highly recommend it if you want to give it a try I'm gonna leave their link down below and I'm also gonna leave a discount code for you guys which is gonna get you a hundred dollars off which is insane I can't believe they're being so generous with you guys so definitely take advantage of that uh, but yeah everything's gonna be down below thank you so much to the online makeup Academy for sponsoring this part of the video and thank you so much to all of their instructors for being so great <laughs>